Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the month of August. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I was set to do Libra next, but I can't seem to get Capricorn off of my mind. So I decided, you know, I gotta do Capricorn right now. That's the way it goes. So, we're gonna do Capricorn, see what comes up. Um, this is a message from my guides. We're just going to see what comes up. What are we going to get? This is for the whole month of August, so keep that in mind. It may not resonate the day that you watch it. Check back later. Okay, this is a preview. It may or may not resonate. It may not even be for you. It may or may not. You know, typically they they do resonate if you, you know, if you have an open mind and you, you know, you go back. A lot of people, I get comments all the time. They say, oh, I went back to this. It didn't resonate and I went back. And Wow. You know, so I get that a lot, but some people, you know, oh no, this doesn't apply to me and forget about it, whatever. Anyway, let's see what we got for Capricorn. We're going to use all these decks right here. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What deck are we going to use first? This one right here. What do we got for Capricorn for the month of August, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for Capricorn? For August. Dedicated effort. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So, hard work pays off. We got a really hard worker here. Somebody who works really, really hard at making things, you know, just about perfect. Right? It's got to be perfect. That's what it looks like to me. And that's okay because, I mean, this is something that is so beautiful. So you would want it to be exquisite. So this is putting in a lot of effort to make sure that everything is, is perfect. So your effort will pay off because everybody's going to see it. Trust me. Everybody is seeing your effort and, you know, you're going to be rewarded for it. You'll probably be remembered for it. So your hard work is definitely going, is being seen. There's no doubt about it. Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn? <laughs> You're going to gain respect. You are. You are going to gain respect. There's no doubt. I see it. One card for Capricorn, please. For the month of August. One card for Capricorn, please. Oh, there it is. The Hermit. Well, doesn't that fit? That absolutely fits 100% all the way. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. That is where you've been, where you are, or where you're going. It's going over here. So I feel like you've been here. I think that you have been here. I think that you have been in hermit mode. You have been growing spiritually. You are going through some sort of awakening. Um, you may be, your religion may be very important to you at this time. You're probably focusing on, you know, your spiritual growth and becoming one. Becoming one with the universe, uh, whoever it is that you honor, okay? This is um, taking a break, and I think that is where you've been. And maybe this is where you're still going to be in August, because I see you working really, really hard to perfect. Maybe it's to perfect yourself or to perfect, perfect, you know, the outcome, whatever it is. Um, so it is a time of, of, 
it's almost like working on yourself, working on your own growth, right? Expression. Maybe you're working, you're, you're expressing, expressing yourself, you know, your self-expression, perhaps your character, you know, um, What do we have for Capricorn for the month of August? One card, please. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Stay positive. You could be dealing with a Taurus. I know Taurus had this card. This is Virgo. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I'm not sure who you're dealing with. But stay optimistic about your love life. Seriously, you may have been rejected by somebody in the past that has made you think negatively. Don't let that hold you back, okay? Think positive. Um, Capricorn, for the month of August, what do we have? It's a beautiful masterpiece. That's what you're becoming, a masterpiece. I mean, come on now. You're the master, right? Insecurity, poverty, worry, right? You're worried about your money, worried about not having enough. All that is, all that is, is all materialism is, all money is, is a false sense of security. What really matters is what's on the inside. It's not about the shell. It's not about what you have. Just so you know, I don't know where this message is coming from, but it's some it's here. This is avoiding realignment. You know, this is this could be a home or something that you may be avoiding. You may be avoiding change in, ho in a home, change in location. <laughs> that could be a false sense of security. It may not have be meant to be. I'm I'm sorry, but there could be a change in your home that is needed. You know, a change. At in your living circumstances, maybe there's not enough money. Maybe you can't afford it. Ah. There could be some upheaval at home. A change at home. Knight of Cups. King of Coins. So this is an offer. This is an offer of emotional support. This could be from a romantic interest. Somebody that loves you. I don't know. The Knight of Cups. or They have feelings for you. I don't know what this is. Um, this is emotional support. The Knight of Cups. Like somebody helping you. Coming in to help. Now this is about money. It's about stability. It's about security. It's about holding on to your security and your stability. I think we have somebody here that is trying to hold on. Maybe to a relationship or a home or something that they might not be able to afford. Um, investing. You know, there's no more growth there. You can't get any more out of it. Um, it's time to relocate. I'm sorry. Um, this is not emotionally fulfilling. Um, there's no real partnership here. It's not compatible. I think this has to do with your home. It could be a love relationship. I don't know, but this is not compatible. And you might be seeking something or, well, this is some, this is a new romance or a new opportunity, this Knight of Cups, but this is not compatible with this foundation. So somebody has been investing in a foundation that they are not, it's like, it's not compatible. It's not the perfect union. It's not the perfect match. It may be too expensive. It's not, there's not enough money. Um, it's time to relocate. Um, 
Now you could be dealing with a Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's something below the surface. There is. There's something below the surface that you don't know. There's something that is unseen. Um, there's some level of, of mystery here. Um, hold on. We're going to get the rest of these cards. King of Swords. Three of Cups. There's no reconciliation. There's no reunion here. Uh, if you've been holding on to hope or thinking that, you know, there was going to be a reconciliation or that things were going to, you know, get better at this home situation. I don't think that's the case. I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to pretty it up for the hell of it. I can't. It's not the way it goes. Okay. Somebody may have been lying, you know, deceiving themselves. Maybe, maybe, maybe hiding in addictions. This could be addictions, you know, maybe drinking too much or smoking too much whatever you know i feel as though we have somebody here that you know has had their dreams dashed in a partnership it's like their their whole world has crumbled and you know and now they have to find the strength to um rebuild themselves here and that's what's going on rebuild a new foundation elsewhere and this is elsewhere so i feel like this is a month of you know, moving towards something more emotionally fulfilling. You may not see it yet. It's unknown, okay? It's unknown. So I think that you probably don't, you won't see it when it comes, okay? You won't see it when it's time because it's unknown. It's hidden. This opportunity to move forward is still hidden. I think there could be a breakup here. There could be an actual split, from an abusive situation. I think that there was an abusive situation here where there's, you know, a lack. There's been neglect. There's been neglect. There's been power struggles. And I feel like there's really no hope for renewal. But somebody's been holding on to hope that, you know, things were going to get better. But I think it's time to, you know, refocus, replan. And relocate so some of you that's what I see I mean I can't it's just the way it is um, the challenge is relocating money that's the challenge here having the money to relocate um, down here right now there's a there's a it's like my dreams have been dashed you may lack faith you may be loathing you know you may be in a state of despair because of this partnership that ended you know or is ending Okay, I feel like right now there's there may be some bitterness. You may be bitter. You may be angry. You may be really frustrated and upset. You could be dealing with a water sign. You, you know, I don't know who it was, but whoever this person was, they had secrets. They weren't telling you all the truth. They lied to you. Okay, whoever this person was, I feel like right around the corner you are going to have the money that you need, or somebody may come give it to you. Somebody may help you. Um, you are. This is teamwork. Working. You, somebody may help you. Um, you could be even this person, you know, that hurt you. Anyway, I think that you are going to to uh, receive respect for what you're going through. You absolutely are going to be respected for your hard work. Somebody is going to help you by the looks of things. Um there's been a loss of love here. There has been. There's been a loss of love and there's really no chance in re re reconciliation. And I feel as though you, you know, maybe you, you need to love yourself and you need to focus on yourself. Um, you may be shutting down emotionally. You may be blocking yourself emotionally because of somebody that lied to you and deceived you. Oh, we got the hermit reversed. This is the midlife crisis in reversed rejection. You may be rejecting any love offers or anything from anybody because of bitterness, anger, resent. I don't trust anybody. Anybody. So I feel like this is a month of going through a spiritual awakening, going through a healing. I don't think you're all the way there yet. 
I feel as though you're starting to see the light. You're starting to come out of this, but you got you still got a ways to go. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not going to pretty it up. I just can't do that. It's like right now there's a lack of celebration because you may have just been rejected or you were rejected by somebody, you know. Um, I see a, a period of isolation working on your own masterpiece yourself. That is what I see. I can't. I mean, that's what I see. Not going to pretend that love is going to come rushing in. You may have somebody, yes, with the Knight of Cups, that somebody that, you know, wants you to just let them in a little bit. This person may, you know, want to offer you emotional support. You know, they may, you know, be supporting you. So, yeah, you probably have somebody here that may be supporting you emotionally. But I don't think you're ready for love. I don't. I don't. And I don't know who this reading is for. There has been some major upheaval. There's been a huge life change here. And it does involve a partnership. And it takes time to rediscover. It takes time to heal. It takes time to, you know, regain your stability and your security before you can work together with somebody else effectively. So I feel like this is a month of healing. And working on your own masterpiece. That's what I got. Good luck.